a communique issued on Tuesday at the third plenary session of the 18th Central Committee of the Communist Party of China called for overhauling the country's economy and creating decisive results by 2020, the same year in which China's GDP could surpass that of the U.S., according to some estimates. The reform guideline calls for creating a lower investment threshold by speeding up the development of the Shanghai Free Trade Zone, giving more property rights to rural people, and building a more transparent system for local and national taxation and spending. The reforms are expected to provide more opportunities for foreign investment. Joe Howe, economist at Melbourne-based ANZ Bank, was optimistic about the future prospects of China's service industry. Many sectors still have much greater profit space in China than in other countries. If more access for investment is given, investors can bring in their experience while making a profit. It's a win-win scenario. Joe anticipates more reforms for the financial market. I don't think China's financial market is closed, but the pricing of the financial products is still not decided by the market. Foreign banks are sometimes subject to prejudice. Now that the authorities have vowed to let the market have a say, we can benefit. If the capital account becomes more open in the coming years, we can bring high-quality financial services to China. Work on a detailed plan for financial reform in the Shanghai Free Trade Zone is underway, and the plan is expected to be released soon. Interest rate and exchange rate liberalization, as well as capital account convertibility, may be included in the plan. To put it simply, the reforms can help foreign investors to use their own capital in a more efficient way. In the past, our money was confined to the domestic market. The domestic and international markets were separated, but the Shanghai Free Trade Zone, for example, can tackle this problem. That's attractive for foreign investors. The communique called for working with both domestic and international ventures, as well as combining the strategies of bringing in and going global to adapt to globalization. Analysts have said that China's new round of reform could compare with that completed under former leader Deng Xiaoping 35 years ago. Deng's reforms also lessened government control by allowing the market to have a greater say. In the past. Pricing and investment decisions were made almost exclusively by the government.